It's like having um, your history taken away from you and important stories about who you are are sitting somewhere else under somebody else's possession. I began to really think about the term repatriation and what that meant. It's important for people to know that as NISCA, we are a matrilineal society. And so in order to honor that, I I've worked with the word rematriation. Four and a half years ago, this Pitsan left Ankida, and the sun is shining upon it because it is back on its ancestral lands. It's very touching to see everything that's happening because it's part of our his history because the whole was taken year, many years ago and it's come back to its rightful place of Ankida. It's quite moving to see it come in. I, yeah, that's like, to me it's a really big thing. My great-great-grandfather, Uye, actually was the one who carved the totem pole. This is a new, a new partnership that we're starting to have with a lot of the museums around the world. It's beautiful to see it in, in the landscape that it came from and put it into context. For a number of years now, the Scottish Government's taken a position that, if possible, within the guidelines and the rules, these kind of artefacts, these kind of precious objects, should be returned to whence they came. I can, I can just, I can breathe now, and I can, I can feel like my job is done, and that it's, it's here, and we've done the right thing.